Okay guys, so today we're going to be looking at something I like to call the disgusting human being list. This list compromises of all the people that have done wrongdoing in our systems, i.e. prison services or police. So we're going to start at the beginning of the document, now this does go back to 2008. But what I want to do is I want to actually go through this entire list and show what these police forces are doing and what some of the high ranking officers think they can get away with. So with no further delays, let's start the video. Okay guys, on the 9th of May 2008, Inspector Gerard Hutchings from Hampshire Police thought it was okay to force teenage boys to strip. Now he was jailed for 16 months, in my opinion that isn't long enough, but we'll go ahead and look at the news article anyway. Police inspector who ordered humiliating strip searches and brought shame on the police. A disgraced police inspector who ordered a string of teenage boys into humiliating strip searches in police custody was jailed for 16 months today. A judge said Gerard Hutchins, 48, acted in breach of his powers and heaped shame on the police service by demanding 11 young victims to comply with his demands. He ordered boys aged 16 and 17 to strip naked, bend over and subject themselves to intimate and degrading examinations in front of him between March 2006 and July last year. Brighton Crown Court was told that Hutchings acted under the pretense that the humiliating procedures were shock tactics designed to divert unruly youths from a life of crime. How sick is that to then try and blame it on them? Prosecutor Tim Thompson said his actions went far beyond what was expected when reprimanding people and had left his victims shocked and embarrassed. Hutchins, employed by the Hampshire Force in Lyndhurst in the New Forest, had an unblemished 28-year police record during which he received two commendations. It just goes to show that even some of our best police officers turn rogue. Judge Cedric Joseph told him, What you did was a gross breach of trust. It was degrading and humiliating and frightening for some of them at least. Whatever they had done wrong when they had come to be reprimanded or cautioned, did not justify being treated with a lack of respect which you showed to them. The allegation surfaced in July last year, 2008, after a 16 year old boy told his mother what happened when he went into Lyndhurst Police Station to be reprimanded for stealing a bicycle. Mr Thompson told the court that the boy was in a room with Hutchins who ordered him to strip naked, intimately examine himself and bend over in front of him. After the incident, his father noticed his son was visibly upset, but the father assumed it must have been the nature of the reprimands. Police were alerted, and Hutchins, unmarried, with no children, and who lived with his ill mother, was arrested and claimed to be flabbergasted by the claims. He said that during the course of his reprimands, he wanted to have an impact on the youths to explain what prison life could be like in order to steer them away from committing further crimes. He claimed his impactive procedures were primarily aimed at youths he felt were not taking the reprimands seriously but denied they were done for his own sexual gratification. Hutchins, who denied he was homosexual, said his form of reprimand was only meted out to male suspects and he later admitted he had made a grave error. After being freed on bail, further inquiries were made to determine whether any other people who Hutchins had reprimanded had received similar treatment. A further 10 victims were uncovered, many of whom reported Hutchins going through the same routine of asking them to strip naked, bend over and intimately examine themselves in front of him. As a result of the allegations and the admissions made by Hutchins, he was sacked from the force in August last year and charged with a series of offences. The offences took place at both Eastleigh and Lyndhurst police stations. 
Hutchins pleaded guilty last month to 10 counts of misconduct in a public office and one count was taken into consideration when he appeared at Hove Crown Court. He denied 10 counts of causing a person to engage in sexual activity without consent and a sexual assault charge which was accepted by the Crown Court. So guys, as you can see, some of these police officers are really disgusting pieces of work. Um, that's not to say that all police officers are like that. Um, I'd like to think that we do still have good police officers in our forces that um, do still abide by the law. This is going to become a little series that I'm going to do. So if you like the new video, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe with a bell notification on. I will leave the original link to the news article that I was reading from in the video in the description box below. Guys, peace, love, respect, stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next one.